Good morning and welcome to Friday Morning's Reflections. Be sure and visit our website, RaisingDreamersMinistries.org. Today we're going to talk about stop worrying and make a difference in our world. I doubt that there's one person listening that hasn't been guilty of worry. So often we worry about things that never happen. Mark Twain said, I'm an old man and I have known a great many troubles, but most of them have never happened. In the Bible, there's a book called Philippians. Philippians 4, 6 says, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be known to God. Did you know that worrying can literally make you physically sick? Worry is a habit that we have developed over the years. Because when you're born, you don't worry. It's something we practice year after year, and it soon becomes a habitual habit. Worry can stop us from doing our daily tasks and, and it truly can paralyze us mentally. Oswald Chambers wrote, It is not only wrong to worry, it is unbelief. Worrying means we do not believe God can look after the practical details of our lives. And it is never anything but those details that worry us. The opposite of worry is trust. In 1 Peter 5, 7, it says, Give all your worries. He didn't say give some. God says give all your worries and all your cares to God, for He cares about what happens to you. When I start worrying, I immediately try to nip it in the bud, and I start praying. It's hard to worry and pray at the same time. Prayer changes things, and worry changes nothing, and it never will. Worrying is a dead-end street. It can drain us and take our daily joy away. I challenge you today to stop worrying and start living. Now you go enjoy your day and start putting trust in the one who loves you more than anyone. Because he lives, you hear me? Because he lives, you can face tomorrow.